Ahoy mates, Julie here, and welcome to Friday's episode of The Coders TV. First up today in yada yada yada, is it a bird? Is it a plane? Nah, it's just a flying yacht. A flying what? Appearing recently at the Cannes International Yacht Show, it's the Focus 21 France. And it can not only sail the seven seas, it can fly over them as well. The yacht's design is not actually a full-fledged seaplane, but rather is more like a single wing designed as an aerofoil. So kind of like a gigantic wing with engines. The Focus 21 France will carry up to 15 passengers and can be launched and flown a few meters above the sea surface for approximately 65 to 70 miles. How does it do this? Well, it's designed to fly using what aviators refer to as wing-in-ground effect, which is, according to good old Wikipedia, the reduction in drag experienced by an aircraft as it approaches a height approximately twice a wingspan's length off the ground or other level surface in this case, the water. So somewhat like a helicopter when it hovers close to the ground. It's not the first time this idea has been tried. The Russians created the Ekranoplan, or sea skimmer, and it had the advantage of being able to carry tremendous amounts of cargo, over 100 tons, as it skimmed a few meters off the surface at a top speed of nearly 500 miles an hour. Or what about the Sea Phantom? built by Fort Myers-based boat designer David Borman and his company, Maritime Flight Dynamics Incorporated, found at www.cphantom.com, which is part speedboat, part aircraft, and check it out, part Batmobile. Anyway, as for the Focus 21 France, nobody's mentioned when the first model will be completed, but for more information on that project, visit www.focus21-france.com. Next up, it's time for our Boat Test Reports Feature of the Week, where this week we take a look at the Doral Boca Grande with Volvo Penta IPS. Check her out. Welcome to BoatTest.com. Captain Rob Smith here. I'm at the Doral meeting for 2008, and this is the Boca Grande. Now, we've been on it before, but not like this. We've got a hard top above us. We've got the IPS drive below us. Come on board. Let's take a good look at the Boca Grande for 2008. The Boca offers plenty of room for everyone to enjoy the ride with the navigator side lounge across from the helm, port side aft lounger, and starboard side semicircular lounge. The optional hardtop is something I know I will want so I can enjoy the bright sunny days and have space to stay out of the rainy ones and still enjoy my boat. An executive will feel right at home with the wood panels and wheel under their control. The joystick control is the feature that will make you look like a pro when you're docking. The bow is reached up molded in dash steps and through the windshield walkthrough. Stairs into the salon are steep to conserve floor space inside. You will feel at home in the salon with deeply cushioned lounge that converts into another berth when needed, blinds for dockside privacy, and wood cabinetry for storage and entertainment center mounting. The route packs a lot of creature comforts into the master suite with things like a makeup cabinet, port and starboard lockers, and storage below the queen-sized island bed, and the LCD TV spins around from the port corner for nighttime viewing. For privacy, you have a compact accordion door, which I like better than a curtain. The aft cabin also has a table that can be used for serving or drop down and add a cushion making it another bed. The enclosed port side head has a high gloss, easy to clean liner, separate shower wand, and a toilet. The Boca Grande measures 36 feet 2 inches length overall, 39 feet 3 inches with the swim platform. She measures 12 feet 6 inches across the beam and weighs about 18,800 pounds dry. She has twin 129 gallon fuel tanks for extended range and 18 degree stern dead rise for performance. Testing conditions on the Ottawa River were pretty calm, but the Boca was ready for some action. She handled smoothly and with steady confidence. The best cruise was around 3,000 RPM, running 29.4 miles per hour for a range of 361 miles. Top speed was a brisk 39.1 miles per hour at 3,640 RPM. Be sure and get your test ride on the Boca Grande for 2008 from Doral. Thanks to Boat Test for that report. To see more of the Boca Grande from Doral, you can cruise on over to Boat Test's website at www.boattest.com. Next up in our Off the Hook segment, are you looking for a gift for that really special angler in your life this holiday season? 
Well, if you've got as much expendable income as, say, Larry Ellison, oh Larry, then we've got a great stocking stuffer idea for you. Mac Daddy Fishing Lures line of fishing equipment boasts the world's only million dollar fishing lure. Why the expensive price tag? Does it make the sport as easy as, say, shooting fish in a barrel? Well, not exactly. The aptly titled Million Dollar Fishing Lure commands such a price due to its components rather than its function. Namely, three pounds of gold and platinum and the 100 carats of diamonds and rubies that encrust it. Bling, bling, bling! Now, if you're going to go do that extreme, I hope it's more than fish you're trying to attract. Okay, so if that's too far out of your price range, or too absurd, how about the Porcupine Fish Attractor, which at $25 will put a much smaller dent in your pocketbook. These little numbers not only help you catch fish, but improve the habitats of small lakes and ponds as well. Just put the sphere with its spindly PCV pipes under your dock or pier and wait. As the algae and plankton grow around the larger structure, fish become attracted to it. When it's time to reel in the porcupine, fish will be caught inside the orb that's been created by the body of water and its inhabitants. Kind of tricky, but 25 bucks is one price tag I can get behind. To find out more about the million dollar fishing lure, you can visit www.macdaddiesfishinglures.com. And for more about the porcupine fish attractor, please visit porcupinefishattractor.com. And finally today, it's time to reveal Julie's, the Boaters.com celebrity profile pick of the day, which is Captain Deb. Yay, a female captain. And her 1991 well-crafted eclipse, Claire Janelle. In Deb's captain profile bio, I love this, she starts out with, yes, it is my boat. A former member of the Western Michigan University water ski team, she even started her own group on the boaters called Girls at Helm, where she tells us, my hubby is the best first mate around, but I am the captain and would love to meet others like me. Deb shows us some excellent photos of Canandaigua Lake outside Rochester, New York, which she calls the most beautiful lake she's ever seen. And that's a wrap on this episode of The Boaters TV. Join us back here on Monday. Until then, Safe and happy boating to you all. Take care.